Hello everyone, I'm Mr. Furlong, and today we're talking nuclear reactions! There are two types of nuclear reactions that we're going to be looking at today. Nuclear fission and nuclear fusion. We're going to start with fission because that's what we see taking place in things like nuclear power plants. It is the process of splitting a nucleus into several smaller nuclei. Now when we do this, we are going to release a tremendous amount of energy. So for instance, we start with some uranium-235. By shooting a neutron at it, it's going to split the atom into krypton-90 and barium-144. Now they will be releasing a neutron that hits another uranium atom that splits that into krypton and barium that releases some more neutrons and it just continues on and on and on. This reaction releases a small amount of mass that is converted into a large amount of energy. You may have seen this before. This is E equals mc squared. This is the equation that tells us that this mass is converted into energy. Specifically, this is energy is equal to mass times the speed of light squared. Einstein proved that mass can be converted into energy and energy into mass. Now we've used this principle for a couple different purposes on the planet. One is to generate electricity. In a nuclear power plant we use uranium and we split it. The energy release can produce electricity. So what really is happening in the power plants, water is going to be heated by the energy released from the splitting atoms. That will create steam. The steam will spin some turbines around a few magnets and it generates electricity. When you look at a nuclear power plant, what you're seeing are the large cooling towers. So the water goes up these cooling towers. Since that water is superheated, they have to cool it down and then they can put it back into the body of water where they got it from. But you know what? As I take a look at that, that power plant looks very familiar to me. I'm not exactly sure where I've seen that before. Oh yeah. Now I know. Let's look at an example of this. So let's say I have a special neutron gun and I'm going to shoot a neutron at that uranium and it splits the atom into two daughter nuclei. In a nuclear power plant we can fire these neutrons over and over again and notice what happens uh, to our energy output. We're technically not creating energy but we're creating electricity and we are doing this in a controlled manner. And this is one way that we can get energy. Now one of the byproducts of this however is a radioactive molecule that we then need to get rid of. We need to store it somewhere. Another way that we have used nuclear fission is in atomic bombs. The difference between the nuclear fission and atomic bomb versus in a nuclear reactor is that in a bomb it's uncontrolled. So once that bomb has been detonated it's going to release a whole bunch of energy at once instead of instead of releasing just a little bit of energy at a time. So give, let's give an example of this. I'll, I got my special neutron gun again. I'm going to just fire it once and... Wow! All of those uranium atoms just releasing all that energy at once causing massive devastation. The other type of nuclear reaction is nuclear fusion. This is where two nuclei combine to form a larger nucleus. So for instance, we see in the Sun, we see deuterium and tritium slamming together, forming a helium atom and releasing a neutron, as well as releasing a tremendous amount of energy. A lot more energy is released in nuclear fusion than with nuclear fission. Now nuclear fusion we don't have any radioactive particles to deal with. The problem with nuclear fusion is the only time we see nuclear fusion actually taking place are in stars. And so we haven't ever been able to recreate nuclear fusion on Earth. And that's because it takes very high temperatures and high pressures in order for fusion to occur. So that's the difference between fission and fusion. And if you have any questions, just raise your hand.